Hi guys, welcome to Moody Motion. My name is Olah Ibrahimov, and right now, as I promised, I will show you how to use Stable Diffusion through Google Collab Notebook by just your phone and make these awesome AI transitions. You don't need any computer, any additional software or apps. You just need an internet and your Google Drive. This is actually the advantage of using Google Collab Notebook. In this case, I will use my previous setup in Google Collab Notebook. If you want to make yours, uh, just go to my previous lesson when I showed how to make it and using that setup you can go out and make any animation you like. Let's also start the timer so we can see how much time does it take to make this uh, awesome animation trending today on TikTok. I did a shot with my little baby girl, cut it this way that on the last frame I want my transition to happen. I did a shot using just a phone and that holder so you you put it on your head. So now then, let's start our timer and see how much time does it take. Let's go. Here is the video. I do the screenshot of it. Go to this file and crop it. Done. To the photos. Let's go to Google Drive. Here you will find a folder AI and the folder init photos that I created and inside I created an additional mobile and here's the shot because I was actually doing some shooting before uh, just testing uploaded photos let's take our photo done yep okay go out here is our folder club notebooks go inside here is AI video transition but as you click it it doesn't support it we cannot open it but if you click three dots copy the link I'm sorry for Ukrainian because we, we hear we speak Ukrainian here, you know, you will find this the same thing just in English or any language you use. Go to your browser. I use Chrome and put here our link. Go. Here we are. The forum stable diffusion. OK, let's scroll down. The setup is done here. I want my frames to be 300 also let's go down i want to change prompts because i don't want my baby to transform into highly detailed portrait or fearless necromancer <laughs> i think that is a little bit too much and put here reshitka and here we put zero here also reshitka we don't need it so my girl should transform into a cute kitten made out of metal flying now go down if you want to render be shorter you should ch change the steps uh, sometimes it's uh, enough even uh, 40 steps or 30 it depends on the sampler i changed the batch name to ai mobile now the strength i want to change it to one because i want my first frame to be actually the photo also i need to put here the path to the frame or to the photo. At first, we should connect to our, our Google Drive. So we have to click here to connect it to our Google Drive. Okay, give the permission. So as we are connected, click here on three lines. And on the third line, here we will see our drive connected. Or if you don't see, you can push here on a folder, the second icon to refresh. Now go to your drive, my drive, AI, init photos mobile and here is my picture three dots copy path we can close that bar and now we have to put our path here to put path and insert on the very bottom here is skip video for run all there have to be no check mark in this case the video will be created on your google drive so you don't need to gather your frames inside the video editor. Everything is ready. Now, three lines. The third thing from the bottom, ran, ran all. This is it. And uh, one more thing that I should mention, you don't need this page to be open. You just can close it, go do your stuff. So look at that, look at that cutie. Oh my God. Yo, she's transforming into a little baby kitty. What? Look at the legs. <laughs> the additional cat on her head oh my god there is not much of a contrast that is 
good. You have a more control of uh, colors. You can use some LUT on that, and that looks cool. I love it. Oh man, I can't stop smiling. <laughs> If it's top rendering, you can use the resume animation. And about that, you can watch my first video tutorial about the forum stable diffusion. Real quick, if for some reasons your animation stop rendering, go to your Google Drive, to your output folder, find the sequence of images and copy this number inside the name of the file. Go back to your Google notebook, find resume animation and put your number inside resume time string. Put the check mark. Click to render cell again or re-render everything from scratch. It will continue rendering your frames. Now, if you want to disconnect, tap RAM. Here's on the bottom, manage sessions. If it's out of range, just rotate your screen and click here to stop the session. Done. Also, I will tell you a little bit about other apps uh, that you can use and how much does it cost for you to make these AI transitions. Because this stuff, if you use your phone, isn't free maybe it is i don't know but you know everybody tried to make money that is how you use stable diffusion through google club notebook on your phone it is easy as hell it's interesting how much time does it take for me even speaking with you let's jump into the studio i will tell you more about these apps now I will compare price and possibilities of those two alternative methods of making animation from photo. First and most popular today is Skyber AI website. It gives you option to make free 30 seconds of animation with the watermark, but right now their site is overloaded. Few options for monthly plan. For $5 you get 300 credits that is equal to 300 seconds. Now comparing it to Collab Notebook, for $10 you got their 100 compute units and usage of Tesla T4 will cost you 2 units or 20 cents per hour of video card rentage. Now then, with my setup, one frame of animation to render takes 22 seconds, so we may render around 163 frames per hour. It means that for $1 we get 815 frames, that is 34 seconds video or 1 minute and 8 seconds of 12 FPS video. Also you may see how much does it cost you to render on other video cards and how long does it take so i would recommend to test everything on tesla t4 and then when everything is ready just go render on tesla a100 as it's fast remember again you don't have those options when you use a website or app the same video length would cost 68 credits and remember that you also have more control over render time in collab notebook you may lower resolution and put less steps so it will result in less render time as you see the output resolution also differs there is option to upscale but it also requires credits after we go create you may either choose image to begin with or transform the existing video about video transformation there will be another tutorial there is an option to add your music so it can synchronize camera movement with the sounds but there are also methods with more control and i will make video about this as i am a music producer and i'm going to make a music video for myself now it asks for prompts uh, they give you an option to select out of available presets but i will insert same prompts i used in the google collab as you see camera movement direction has a very poor selection of options and let's compare it to what we got in google collab and the second method to make the AI transition is to use a Loopsy app. And to my opinion, it is expensive as hell. Look at that. $8 in a single week or $32 a month? The only clever option here is one-time payment of 60 bucks. Yes, it has free trial for three days. And yes, it has a couple of different tools. If you go to AI video, there are only two options. To add photo from their collection or input yours. And here you will still be asked to pay $2 for 11 seconds, 15 FPS video. That is the complete boo-boo. Yes, I have paid, so you may watch. And that's it. No more controls. You wait some time and got results you never asked for.
11 seconds with 15 FPS. Come on, man. Here are all three examples with resolutions and cost of each. So make your conclusions. The last thing you have to do is to connect two videos. So you can do it just inside your TikTok or uh, Instagram and no need to explain this far. So that is actually it. Thank you for being here and please buy me a coffee. I like what I do. I hope you too. And see you next time. You're really gonna do me like that? <laughs>